So this video is going to be um, illustrating logical operations um, with arrays. Um, and all of this extends directly from what we did with vectors. Uh, so jumping right into MATLAB here, um, I've defined several arrays, array A, B, and C uh, with these values. And here on line 13, I said, uh, show me where A is greater than or equal to 5. So this is using scalars. Um, and so what's going to happen is I'm going to get a logical array array of logicals. If you look over here in the workspace, um, ANS is a 4 by 3 of logical. Um, and so all of these answers are going to be logical because I'm doing these logical operations here. Um, so what happens is it, shows, it's, it just puts a zero where in the, in the, in the locations where, the, uh, where A is not greater than or equal to 5, and it puts a 1 in the locations where A is greater than or equal to 5. So, uh, so another illustration here would be with B um, using less than. So this is where array B is less than 50, where all the ones are, and where the zeros are, of course, is where B is not less than 50. Um, another illustration here using array C. This is where C is equal to 58. You see that's the only location where that is true there. Okay. Um, so once again, just following our rules that we learned with vectors, um, going down here and comparing um, arrays, uh, we can do the same thing. The, of course, the stipulation is, is that they must be the same, same dimensions. And so um, comparing A to B, so it's going to tell me where in B um, where in B is greater than A, and so it's everywhere. So all these locations, B is greater than A. And I'll go down here to line 19 and just do one more illustration. Um, where is B greater than C? Well, only in these places you see 14 here. See the 89 here is greater than 14, 76 is greater than 75. And so those are these two locations and so on and so forth. So once again, this is a really, really a straightforward translation of what we learn um, in vectors using them with the logical operators um, on arrays.